Hi, I'm Steve from Handy Dryers, and today we're looking at our brand new Armadillo Eco Hand Dryer. This unit is really engineered for stability, strength, and durability. Its construction is internally, as with most modern hand dryers, it's extremely uh, eco, extremely energy efficient, and works brilliantly as a hand dryer. But the, but the cover itself is incredibly solid. It's made from really thick stainless steel, and then, especially with the colored ones, it's given a strong powder coating to make it very, very vandal resistant. You'll notice on the table in front of me, we've got two different color weights um, on top of the black one. So there's a polished uh, stainless steel and then a white unit as well. They're equally as tough. So I'm gonna show you the internals of the unit in a second. But essentially what we have here is a state-of-the-art hand dryer where you can turn the heating element on and off, which saves up to two thirds of the power. Um, and then there's a control inside, so you can actually turn the power of the motor itself up and down. Now normally, in most circumstances, you'd want it on maximum. But if you want to reduce the noise level, let's say you've got a special visitor coming in, or you've got a, a washroom that's maybe near a classroom, or you're in a theater or a cinema, that type of setting, you can turn the unit down. Um, it means it's gonna take an extra two or three seconds to dry your hands, but it also means the noise level is gonna be reduced to put it into a, another level of hand dryers, which is the sub 70 decibels level, uh, which is really, really quiet. And I'll demonstrate all that to you in just a moment. So let's take a look inside the armadillo. Firstly, on the front here, we've got a power switch. Now this powers the heater on and off. If we turn the heater off, we're down to about 600 watts. We turn the heater on, we're at 1.4, 1.45 kilowatts. So it makes a massive difference to the amount of power the unit is using if you turn the heating element off. On the top here, at the side of the unit, is a dial. And I can turn that dial up and down. That controls the power of the motor. So even, though, even if I've turned off the heating element, I can then turn down the power, and that turns down the volume of the unit. So it might mean it's gonna take an extra three or four, five seconds to dry your hands, but the dryer becomes much, much quieter. The final thing to see inside here is the air inlet. Now, on most hand dryers, it's at the bottom or the top. Unusually on the armadillo, we put it on the side of the unit. Now, it goes through here. This is a HEPA filter, and it's a really big HEPA filter. So we've got, the, gray, the, the uh, grill on the front, which is a coarse particulate filter, so that'll get rid of hair and fluff and dander and that type of thing that's getting sucked into the, uh, the hand dryer. And then if you look at that thickness and you think of a uh, HEPA filter you might see in another hand dryer, this is at least three times as thick and probably three times as large. And that means two things. One is we can bring in a lot more air into the unit, which means we have a, a powerful jet because that much air is allowed to go through but it also means that it's filtering a lot and it's taking out all of those particulates in the air. So we're down to 0.3 of a micron here. So that'll get rid of virtually all bacteria. It'll get rid of a lot of viruses as well. And a lot of those are the things that cause the smells and, and the mold spores, etc. So this will make a massive difference in the smell and, and the, uh, the, the cleanliness of the environment that your hand dries in. We'd recommend changing this once a year. Uh, entirely up to, up to you, but if you're in an environment where it gets a high usage, this will slowly get covered with, with dirt, and for that reason alone, it's a good idea to swap it over and put a clean one in, and, and it'll, again, it'll rejuvenate the machine. Apart from that, there's absolutely, absolutely no maintenance needed. Now we're gonna see how well the armadillo works in practice. So the first thing I'm gonna do is wet my hands. In here, get them nice and wet, water all over. Give them a shake as if you're in the washroom and then under the dryer. Okay. So that was 11 seconds under the hand dryer. If I put them on the paper here, you'll see there's not a mark from either hand. It's completely dry. 11 seconds, start to finish. So we're going to do two sound tests now. The first one to test the armadillo when it's on full power and it's low noise even at full power. But let me show that to you. So we've got here our sound meter. We're going to hold it around a meter away from the machine. I'll set it so it takes the maximum volume. And here we go. Mm. 69.5 decibels and that is its maximum sound. Now, anything under, set, under 70 decibels is what we'd classify as a low noise, a really low noise unit. So let's see what it is now when I actually turn it down. 
So here we go for take two. Same machine, I've turned down now the, the power setting so it's on its minimum power. Um, and let's put the unit on again. Sixty-three point four decibels. Sixty-three point four. I've never actually seen a unit quite so low volume. One final point because um, it did cross my mind as well is that when it's having, when you turn it down, it's got such a low volume on. How effective is it as a hand dryer? And the power here. This is low volume, but you can still see the skin moving on my hands. It's actually still a very effective functional hand dryer. It's probably going to take something like 15 to 20 seconds to dry your hands, um, which is almost maybe, maybe double what it normally would. But still at that level of volume, for a lot of people, that's going to be uh, a big bonus. In conclusion, the Armadillo Eco is a really, really strong, durable, tough piece of equipment. It's got state-of-the-art equipment inside it. Um, it's got all the eco credentials you're going to ever want. We can turn off the heating element to it. We can turn down the power. Um, if we do both of those things, you're going to get something in the order of 3,000 hand, hand dry sessions for every one pound of electricity you're spending. Um, that, that's, that's such a tiny cost. If we're talking of a few pounds a year to, to run this. It's got a two year warranty on it. It's a really nice, solid looking piece of equipment and it's really, really quiet. And a lot of people are gonna love that about it. The fact it is so quiet.